Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us, we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. Fish and whistle, whistle and fish. Eat everything that they put on your dish. And when we get through, we'll make a big wish that we we'll never have to do this. Got a All bite. Right. I was I uh, was sitting there, so looks like I got something off large cut bait. It's not huge. It's probably a gaff top sail. It is. Yeah, a trophy. No, oh. no, need it. Nope. I've already gotten a unique tonight too. Wow, get another bite. Okay, I'll take that. It's probably a bonefish. It's just a guess. Nope, it's another gas toss sail off the duck muscle. <laughs> I'm gonna need to buy more duck muscle meat. <laughs> uh, that was a little odd. I just picked up a, a bowfin on the buzzbait. Did you? Yeah. Out here, huh? Yep. Like, that happens occasionally, but. I think they're kind of brackish too, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's some big both in here, some tremendously big both in. I'm really kind of surprised because usually they're a much colder water fish, you know? Yeah. Let me see. I'm gonna throw that large cut bait back out there again. But yeah, I'm in bound and determined. I'm gonna catch on this buzz bait, so. I'm using the uh, kind of watermelon colored one with the orange blade, the oh, one yeah. ounce. Yeah. I'm probably, I would try it, except it's still night. I don't think I'll get a whole lot of action. I think it's kind of a visual. <laughs> yeah, they, well, they, you know, the whole point of them is they make so much noise. True. Make tremendous amounts of noise, and so. Anything that's that's drawn by noise will will hit a buzz bait. That's why I was surprised that it, it the bowfin must have followed it up from the midwater. Yeah. Because you know because it, it sunk and I had to had to get it up to the surface to get the buzz and uh, probably followed it up. But it took it right on the surface, which really surprised me when it, I saw it was a bowfin. Because they usually sink to about midwater. I just got one off of it. I was using the white one. The white one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got the uh, the melon with the orange blade, and I've got the black one. I don't have any of the white ones. Oh, yeah. and picked up a bonefish on it. Yes, that's, I did. That's interesting. Yeah. Sure did. I will. Don't think I have the black one with me. Nope, I don't. No. I think I left it back in storage. But that four-inch slug, that green... Dark green and light green four inch slug is, or black and green, I should say, is a, a excellent, excellent bait. Took a lot of snook on it. Uh, took a, a really nice permit on it as well. I just got another one off this buzz bait. Let's see here. Uh, let's this see if time, they've got them in the shop here. Both in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they've got the white ones here in the shop. By golly, I, I've been meaning on on picking up uh, another white one. So I got something big off this cut, babe. Oh no! What five eighths ounce here? What? Nope, no, I can't, can't, don't have that unlocked yet either. Forty two. Oh well, oh, I guess we'll have to. Stick with my acid green and orange then. 
but that's why I was surprised when you said that that you didn't do any good with the with the buzz bait here because I mean the buzz bait is it is the the Gulf Coast bait you know I mean especially on the flats fishing them on the flats. Well, I I think where I was using it was over in the freshwater. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely much more of a saltwater brackish water type bait. Um you know, if you've got really aggressive fish, really aggressive fish, you'll you'll get some some goodness with the buzz, but I would definitely use it much more out here than I okay. I wouldn't uh, freshwater Using poppers or something, you know? Yeah. Good God, what have I got here? Damn, he is just running. I got him like with to 21 and he took it out to almost 50. <laughs> What'd you pick him up on? Cut bait. Cut bait, yeah. Probably got a big snook. He is really fighting it. Hmm. Damn, you bugger. He's running again. He's out to 52 again. I hate when you get him almost there and then they run. Like, yep. <laughs> like, God bless. <laughs> That's usually when you get one on another one of your lines, you know, and you're like... Yep. Yep. <laughs> <sighs> I think I'm going to give my three-foot glow crank a uh, whip out there. Awful light for this big rod, but... Oh, black drum, huh? He must... Oh, yeah, 27 pounds. He's, he's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, that was a... Shoot, I got turned around when I was... Oh, okay. <laughs> it's dark, and I was like, wait a minute, where is everything? <laughs> yeah, I wish I could run my 8-footer out here, but it's just too deep for an 8-footer. Or too shallow, I should say. Yeah. Um, though though I suppose I could pulse it, run it down almost to the bottom, pause, let it float back up. That wouldn't be so bad. Yeah. Well, I haven't tried the uh, the crawfish crank out out in these water. Uh, in the daytime, it does really well, especially yeah. with the uh, snook. The snook really like it. What have I got here? Is that a red? Is that a red drum? Let's see. Yeah, yeah nice red drum. Red drum. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. Every time I hear that, uh, it never gets old, Hawkeye. <laughs> <laughs> it never gets old. Yeah, I think I'll do that because I'd like to be running a little bit bigger hook. I think I'll go to my 23 footer with the four rod on it, and I'll I'll just That's work it to the bottom, let it float up. Yep. Yeah. Let's see. Because I'd rather be running a bigger one out here. See if maybe I can tie into a tarpon on the 75 pound rod. That's what I've been waiting for. Is Getting a good old tarpon. Yep, tying into a monster tarpon. The biggest I got was a trophy, and I got it using the Brutus rod. And I uh, had taken, uh, gosh, what's her name? One of my viewers, she's an old older lady. She suggested that uh, if you're float fishing. And you only have the Brutus rod going for tarpon to just take nuts. Be careful with that. To not weigh anchor because they'll wear themselves out pulling you in the boat all over the place. Yeah. That's exactly what he did. He pulled me all <laughs> over the place. Oh, yeah. It, it wore him out, though. You know, so. It took me a while, but I got him in. Yeah. Yeah, tarpon tire moderately quickly. In real life, permit fight just forever, just absolutely forever, you know. And then, and their their bodies, and they've got they can generate so much power. They're such a great fish when it, when it comes to to 
a good fight. You know, really, really get some some action on a fight. Well, that's why blue people <laughs> fight so well for their size. They have that exactly, body. and it's yep, yeah, and it's based. It's absolutely based on their shape. Their water displacement side to side is huge. Yeah, this dives deep so fast. Also floats up really fast, though, in the shallow water, so that's not bad. Yeah. Well, yeah, they seem to have quit off the buzz bay here. I try the... Uh... See, I'm going to push the time forward a little bit here. I'm at 8.23. I think I'll take her up to about 3 in the afternoon. Yeah. See if this... Nope, rain is still going for me. I was hoping the rain would drop off so I could use something that's a little more visual. But that's why I went to the glow crank, because I figured with, with the low light conditions, you know? Yeah, exactly. Let's see, what do we got here? Another gaff top sail. Yeah, they seem to have the pretty typical catfish behavior, so... Aren't they, like, really venomous in their spines? Um, their, their slime can actually uh, cause a pretty serious infection. I knew there was something about them that was different. Yep. Why not? Oh, okay, I think I might have hooked the bottom on that one or something. For a second, I thought I had it. It was a really... Really strong take. I must have hooked up in some weeds or something, though. Mm. Oh, click on it. I hate when I do that. <sighs> I get too close to the rod holder, and I pick up the other rod. Something's fiddling with one of these bottom rods. And yeah, they just don't seem interested in this in this glow crank today. Okay, I guess. Oh, wow. Come on. <laughs> That's one of those situations where suddenly the rod just bends over mm -hmm. on itself. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to try my purple triple runner. It's a 13-foot fast dive. See if maybe that gets some attention. What is... What I got he isn't moving very much. <laughs> you got a wrestling match. Uh huh. You might have a trophy bowfin on there, her uh, unique bowfin, because they they like to kind of tank bowfins. Okay. He okay, just temporarily swam towards me, so now he's he's like, oh wait a minute. Something's got me. <laughs> You're gonna take it out to 100 feet, aren't you? Pain in the ass. <laughs> yes, you are. I'm getting a lot of blips down there, too. too. God damn, he's at 126 feet. Yeah, I've been I've been picking up a fair number of pings. I haven't been looking to see how big they are. Yeah. All right, well, we need a 
change of pace here, and I bet you I don't have any of my yellow spoons with me. I, I, hey, you know, I do have Weapon X with me. My yeah. three-quarter ounce Weapon X. Which actually uh, uh, has done me some real good trolling here. Has it? Yep. God bless it. What is on this stupid thing? Time for the three-quarter ounce Weapon X. Hop across the bottom here and see who's in the mood. The snook like it. Oddly, I picked up a permit on it. Really? Especially yeah. I like casting spoons. I've tried a few of them, but I haven't caught them off of that. But I might have to try that now that you said that. Because maybe that's what they like. Yeah, this really isn't ideal permit territory. You want the uh, the openings into the uh, mangrove channels for the permit. Mm -hmm. Just have been meaning to try the yellow diamond out here and and that biplane confused the heck out of me the first time it flew over I was like what the I, I thought somebody was running right up my behind mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah I call it the red baron <laughs> it's looking for Snoopy chasing him <laughs> yeah. god bless it come on Okay. Okay. This is getting this is getting ridiculous. Oh, we just we just had one jump out there. Come clean out of the water. Well, I was actually thinking about uh, shifting down out of this area and uh, either doing a little trolling or uh, so when you there's the the one. The one side channel, it goes back and then it opens up into a really nice wide open area. And that's had some, some really good fishing. Yeah. And you might have to put that rod and holder and weigh anchor. That's what I'm <laughs> you thinking. You got, got a hold of something serious there. Yeah, he's been... Let me get this one in here. Because I've got a fish on this one too. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to follow him. Follow the fish. Hey, it works. Yeah. Well, I'm actually gaining on him now, finally. I have also had some pretty good luck here on the uh, three-quarter ounce six-aught rainbow spinner. And I've had some, yeah, absolutely, and I've had some pretty good luck here on the uh, yellow medium spoon, the half-ounce yellow. Well, the freshwater area, I had lots of luck on both of those. For the peacock bass? Yep. Speckled peacock bass, especially. Now I'm down. That really worked. Like I'm, all, I'm almost to him now. Oh, he's not happy because I got within 20 feet of him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a tarpon. Yep. Yeah, I thought that might no, might be a, what you were wrestling no, with that out there. I thought it was. It's not. It's a trophy black drum. Oh, there you go. 4,316 cash, 58 pounds. I saw his face, I thought it was a tarpon, but because he's sh kind of shiny in the face. Yep. Let me see how big this guy is. I haven't caught the unique yet. That's what I'm, my goal is to get a unique one. Well, I have got that three quarter ounce rainbow spinner out there and the half ounce lemon tiger, and I'm gonna troll myself down towards 
the gaps down there. Going trolling. Let's see what I see. Trolling. Yeah. Trolling down the river. <laughs> trolling, trolling, trolling. Keep those doggies trolling. <laughs> Let's see here. Yep, 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 yep. Let's see. What can we. I think I'm about ready to go on to the next day here. Let me see. Yep. How much cash did I get? Almost 30,000 and six gold. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. That's a good day's work. Absolutely. I'm over 200,000 cash. He is really irritating though sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, I was planning on trolling down until I got into the first mangrove opening over there and then uh, was probably going to anchor there and see what the permit are doing. Yeah. Because they like the entrances into the mangrove. Yeah, it's a little it, it's a little dim for the for the rainbow spinner, but I figured might as well. I didn't I didn't bring my uh, red tiger with me, which would really be ideal to troll with in these conditions. Then I might try mine. <laughs> yeah, you might want to give the half ounce red tiger a try. Uh, if you've got a larger red tiger than that, of course, that's certainly the way to go. But I've I've got a one and a half ounce for a. Yeah, that could that could get you some serious attention. But when I say troll troll down, there's a spot here where there's a little mangrove island, and then it goes back into the mangrove channels and um. I have company. I think I do. Rainbow. Yep, on the lemon tiger. Got a permit. There he is. Nice. Gonna haul me halfway <laughs> to China here. Yeah. Ride the fish, man. Yeah. It's a lot. There easier. we go. Very nice. Seventeen pound permit. There you go. What speed do you seem to do best with the trolling? Uh, here I've been keeping it at one percent, just because the, you know, you, especially if you get back in the the channels, it can be pretty problematic. Yeah. So. So I set her, try to get her to one percent if I can, if not two percent. That's what I've been going at. Now, but, every now and then I've had one time I was just trying to get somewhere. I cranked it up to like twelve percent. Was going a pretty good clip, and something still. I think it was one of those tro black drums latched onto it. And I'm like, damn! <laughs> what the hell? I didn't think it would go for the kitchen, you know, that speed. But yeah. Right up here where it goes into the mangrove channels, there's a couple little mangrove islands and then a channel going in and what I like to do is slip into that channel and then uh, work the lemon tiger in this area, either that or the uh, that black and green slug. Yeah. This is not much of a peak on this new day. Fortunately, partly cloudy, and it's kind of a eh. yeah eh, peak. And 
Yeah. Lots of action, like I say, right as you're coming up now. Yeah, right in there. I just come right up into this channel. So you stop here? Yep, right about where I am here. And, uh... Work that lemon tiger. Um, Tell me how I'm in your way, aren't I? Let me... Nope, not at all. Not at all. 